conqueror, Captain Dibble passing Thorns and making swift ground uh, towards the outside is Call Me Later as they run down to the next. Mutari, Mini Homer run for free. Norman Conqueror, Call Me Later, Captain Dibble. Oh, and a faller there, and we, and, uh, we lost Truly Royal. Truly Royal, a faller at that one. Coming down to the water, Mutari, Mini Homer and run for free, Call Me Later. Norman Conqueror, General Idea. Badbury Springs, this is the first of the ditches. And the leaders all successfully over it. Uh, a bad mistake there by Poetic Gem, only just got away with it. Over the sixth, Mutari, jumping very well up front from Mini Homer and Run for Free, Norman Conqueror in fourth. Behind them, Call Me Later and Parsons Thorns. Second of the ditches now. Mutari on the inside of Mini Homer, just in the picture, is run for free. And Norman Conqueror. Behind them, call me later. Captain Dibble just off the lead, and General Idea, the sheepskin nose band, towards the right of the picture, just behind run for free as they run down to the next. This is number eight, Mutari from run for free. Forever Aston is being pulled up. Mutari there from Mini Homer. Poetic Gem's been pulled up too. Mutari, Mini Homer, Norman Conqueror. On the outside, the left of the picture, call me later as they come to jump the ninth. Mini, Mini Homer just about half a length behind Mutari. General idea traveling well in behind the lead. Norman Conqueror also, then call me later, and then Springer Leak as they race towards the fence. It'll be the last next time. Number 10 this time, and Mutari the leader for Mini Homer and Norman Conqueror and run for free and call me later. And behind them, Springer Leak. General idea on the far side, being followed by Bradbury Springs and Captain Dibble and Parsons Thorns as they run to the next. Number 11, Mutari, the leader, from Mini Homer and Run for Free, Norman Conqueror, on his inside, General Idea, Call Me Later on the outside, Springer, Le Springer Leak is next, and Bradbury Star comes after him. Running downhill, Mutari from Mini Homer, Run for Free, General Idea, then Norman Conqueror, Badbury Star on the inside, Call Me Later, Springer Leak, who's lost ground. A bad mistake there by Grand Habit, who lost quite a bit of ground. Over the water, Mutari the leader from Mini Homer, General Idea, run for free, Bradbury Star. Parsons Thorns going up on the outside, third of the ditches. Mutari from Mini Homer and General Idea on his outside. Another bad mistake by Grand Habit there. Coming to the next, number 15. Mutari landed in the lead. Badbury Star going up on the inside. General Idea on the outer. Mini Homer still right there. In fact, moving back into second now as they race towards the final ditch. Mutari the leader, four from home, from Mini Homer in second, General Idea third, and Badbury Star four. Five behind them come run for free. Call me later a faller at that one. Parsons Thorns is uh, about six, but as they run downhill, it's Mutari the leader from Mini Homer and General Idea, and Badbury Star. Parsons Thorns has been pulled up. Mutari is still the leader towards the right of the picture from Mini Homer. Badbury Star traveling well towards the left. Run for free and general idea just in behind them. Mutari and Mini Homer together from Badbury Star on the outside who's traveling smoothly. Mini Homer has a fractional advantage from Mutari towards the right of the picture, but Badbury Star traveling well towards the left of the picture. Mini Homer in the center, and Badbury Star land. Mutari a faller there, and he's nearly brought down General Idea. And now it's Bradbury Star 
on the near side under Declan Murphy on the far side it's Minnie Homer and these two now as they race into the closing stages towards the last fence Badbury Stars under pressure on the near side Minnie Homer and Peter Scudimore on the far side these two look to have it between them now Minnie Homer with the advantage jumps in a length clear of Badbury Star it's Minnie Homer on the right Badbury Star on the near side Badbury Star is beginning to get up now towards the near side but Minnie Homer is fighting back these two, Badbury Star and Minnie Homer, as they race up towards the line. Minnie Homer just forging ahead as they come to the line. He's going to win it. Minnie Homer has won it from Badbury Star. Run for free is third. A Martin Pike, one, three, fourth. Came Rough Quest, and that was the one, two, three, four. And so the result of the 1992 Sun Alliance Chase first, number seven, Mini Homer, owned by Mr. Freddie Starr, trained by Martin Pipe and written by Peter Scudamore, second, number two, Bradbury Starr, owned by Mr. James Campbell, trained by Josh Gifford and written by Declan Murphy, third, number 15, Run for Free, owned by Mrs. Millicent Freethy, trained by Martin Pipe and written by Jimmy Frost, fourth was number 14, Rough Quest. Yes, what a terrific race here. Little Mini Homer gets in close to the last. You'd have thought that he was on for a big one, but he went in close. Look at this, but very clever to get out of it. And that left Bradbury Star back in again. Now, as they came off the bend, Bradbury Star was going patently the better, but the question mark was, did he stay? Well, having looked at this, you'll say, yes, he did. But the point being, Little Mini Homer, who's not very big at all, outstayed him. This is uh, Peter Skew going at his best for the line. Well, Freddie Starr, the owner, has had horse in training with various trainers for a very long time and has some terrific winners with Martin Pipe. It's about three quarters of the length. Mini Homer takes the Sun Alliance. So Martin Pipe and Peter Scudamore enjoy the first success of Chelsea.